Hello guys, uh, my name is Sarah. I'm Yuzi. Um, we are student exchange participants from Universitas Tarumanagara, Indonesia. So we both major in accounting back in our home university and we are here in Hochschule Hagon currently in the Business Administration, Media and Marketing Management program. And fortunately, I could have a coffee chat with a few of my seniors in from who were experiencing study abroad from our partner universities. And at the end of the conversation, I end up feeling the experience I would get in Germany will resonate with me a lot. So that's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> and before coming here, actually, I have also contacted with Professor Lothar Nadler, uh, one of the key persons who made it possible for Universitas of Madagascar students to participate um, experience, the student experience here at Hochschule Heilbronn. And after learning more and hearing his explanations, I became even more interested and applied for this program. The international office in both our home university and Hochschule Heilbronn had a very active communications. So I think it didn't took a long time for us to get accepted. It was not a really long and complicated process. And we are really grateful because every um, everybody has been very communicative. And every time we ask questions, we always get an immediate response. So, yes. <laughs> Thankfully, we have our buddy with us. So, uh, Professor Gentile Ludeka has um, coordinated a buddy program, which helps us a lot um, during our first few weeks in Kinsalsal, <laughs> because there are lots of things that we need to manage. But I think this buddy program is really beneficial for all student exchange uh, students to come and participate in student exchange or student programs in the future, so yes. Yeah, so I live in Vege, um, in the center of the city, and I have two other roommates um, with different rooms. Yeah, we interact a lot like my roommate had asked me to go to the restaurant so I could taste the German Swissin. Like, um, what is that? Schnitzel? Uh, schnitzel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I also live in a big apartment with, um, I shared with three other people. We took a class in business simulation and in those classes we could interact with the local students even though online but we could still have discussions and we could exchange our perceptions and point of views which I think really fun. So yes, I think it was re a really good experience for us even though it was COVID-19 right now with the pandemic. Yeah. Pandemic don't, doesn't stop me to learn as an exchange student. Well, for both of us, we all have our exams and for presentations. And so it was a totally different exam system than back in Indonesia, but uh, I think that it was a really fun experience because we get to discuss, as it was a group's uh, project, we could get to do it together with the other local German students and we could uh, 
work together and discuss our ideas and opinions. So it was a great experience as well. Mm. A new change for <laughs> us. <laughs> I think because I can use tap water to drink. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I don't have to filter my water. We could exchange our cultures with the students here. So one time we were invited by our friends to taste um, and have a dish called Spitzle with lentils and some sausages. I mean, like German sausages, definitely. And it was a really great experience. And we also cook for them as well as some Indonesian cuisine so we would like to share with them yeah but definitely we feel even though it's pandemic and we could not meet a lot of people but they still warmly welcome us during this semester and we thought it was a really great experience yeah. we'll learn how to play beer pong <laughs> I learned how I could have a better study system or study environment, what kind of time management I should have during my for my studies or for my leisure time. So yes, I think the management would be the most key factors for me. I think for me, Germany influenced me a lot to love or environmental more and more. Um, for example, by separating the trash, mm -hmm. using bioproducts, and avoiding plastic usage. Therefore, my friends, my Indonesian friends, and I currently are trying to create a project about an environmental campaign to make a better Indonesia. <laughs> For me, I have never taken any of formal German courses, but I did some courses by myself through the application, through the internet. But yeah, I can assume that I haven't learned German at all. But because of the people, like my roommate, they, uh, they are willing to teach me like what is this? Oh, they're fish. I was like, ah, okay. <laughs> and that's why I feel like it's easier for me to memorize it. And also the universities, Hochschule Heilbronn, gives me a chance to learn German in a formal way. Well, for me, actually, after completing high school, I had plans to continue my studies in Germany. But because I started late, so after high school, I enrolled myself at the Goethe Institute in Jakarta and take uh, a night classes from our university before coming here. But I can definitely feel the difference between learning a language uh, directly at the country because we, need, we are forced to use it in our everyday lives. And so we're really grateful because we could participate in the Deutsch als Fremdsprache class and improve our German language skills even better. Process, life-changing and um, different. Uh, independent, best and also the people. The people. Terima kasih. Kami tunggu kalian di sini ya, di Hochschule Heilbronn, Germany. Sampai jumpa.